folks drama been drama a rap drama yesterday i told you that investigators were worried because most of the evidence they had against Joey was circumstantial and this is why they were working with the suicide thing yeah an attempted suicide charge because the days in which uh, Bonairungu can be held in custody were rapidly coming to a close yeah and detectives would be forced to either charge him or release him and of course investigators were very worried about releasing him because uh, they believed that he would tamper with witnesses yeah and maybe even tamper with the evidence they have not come to yet well all that dramatically changed yesterday when the dna tests came back and they all came back positive 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 by positive i mean the dna tests match yeah with a man called joy rungu those dna tests put joy rungu bang inside the apartment where monica kimani was murdered now it's not a crime to be inside the apartment of somebody who ends up getting murdered later however in the case of joey multiple witnesses yeah can testify that he was the last person to be seen with her alive so not only can joey be placed inside the apartment inside you know at the bang in the crime scene he was also the last person to be seen with the deceased alive game shot folks no matter what way you look at this yeah this is what is called watertight evidence now it is just amazing how things can change so dramatically because yesterday investigators were worried about having no substantial charges against joseph irungu by the time they have to release him or charge him today the focus of detectives has shifted to another very different question yeah because the question of getting evidence against bonajo irungu is done so what investigators are grappling with now is if he was working alone or he was working with other persons yeah and if indeed he was working with other persons who are these people and to be able to answer this question detectives are focusing on the calls joy rungu made immediately after leaving monica kimani's apartment now bonai rungu made four calls okay but one call stands out yeah as far as the public is concerned and as far as those who have had this piece of information is concerned and indeed i'm sure even detectives for detectives it stands out one of the people joy rungu called is a politician ai yeah 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 of course the question that comes immediately to mind is why would you want to call a politician so late at night what is this thing that is so urgent that it, it cannot wait until morning indeed this is the same question one needs to ask about the three other calls yeah one was to a former radio presenter and the other two we have not been given any more information you see any call you make so late at night let's say any call you make after midnight <laughs> that has to be a call either to your spouse to the watchman on your gate or perhaps to mpango ya kando now any calls you make to persons who do not fit into these categories are very suspicious even if no murder has occurred but in this case murder has occurred so those four calls are extremely significant each and every one of them now this one is getting very interesting now there's something else yeah and this is a bit sad and it's also a bit sensitive and indeed i mentioned this to club 1999 members the day joey was arrested and at that time i said it was a suspicion but now it is confirmed semen samples collected from inside the body of uh, the late monica kimani confirm that indeed joy rungu had sex with the deceased now rape cannot be ruled out however according to investigators 
they say what they have found and what they have seen and the way their evidence is looking, rape is highly unlikely. Now, there are many subtle differences between a woman who has been raped and a woman who has had consensual sex. One of those differences has to do with penetration. And of course, this will leave evidence later, you know, bruises and so on and so forth. Because if the victim or if a woman is resisting and not ready for penetration, there'll be bruises left behind. And not only that, witnesses say that when Bonairungu came into the room, his behavior and the way he moved around, he looked very comfortable in that house, in Monica Kimani's house. For instance, he swaggered into the kitchen and served himself with wine. Now, now, now. Obviously, this is going to be a very controversial part of the murder trial. And for many reasons. Top on the list is the fact that we all know that Joey is engaged. He has a fiancé. The fiancé is Jackie Maribe. But science now tells us, yeah, irrefutable evidence from science, that on the day he was driving Jackie Maribe's car, he had sex with Monica Kimani. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's something else here, much more disturbing, yeah, in my view, and as far as I'm concerned. Some years back, I got involved with a very ugly case of infidelity. I was a third party who was brought in to try and make peace. Now, those evidence, yeah, via text messages and recorded calls, that this wife of somebody else, who was sleeping with another man, who was not her husband, really opened up to a lover. And she told him very intimate things about her husband. And the woman broke down into tears, yeah, in my presence. And her issue was that she could not believe what she had done. And the issue here was not even the sex. The issue here was Vile Aliropokwa. Translation, the way she opened up to the man in such a crazy way. Now, many people don't know this, but this is precisely how a woman is wired. It is very, very difficult to keep away anything, any secret, yeah, from a man you have slept with. That's just the way women are wired. And to an extent, it's the same with a man, yeah, although to a much lesser extent. And of course, there are other factors, yeah, because a man can have sex with a woman without uh, love being involved. But it's unlikely that a woman will have an extramarital affair with a man she has no feelings for. In fact, in case you didn't know, intelligence services all over the world use sex to gather information. Sex has been used since the beginning of time to gather information. Now, the reason why I bring this up is the question which many of you should be asking already. Why would you want to have sex with a woman that you're going to kill? Allegedly, it hasn't been proved yet, yeah, although the evidence is pointing bang in that direction. One of the reasons naturally, would be to get information. For instance, information like how much money did you make in Juba? Where have you put your ATM card? Etc, etc. A woman who has just had sex with somebody she likes will be an open book. They will even reveal information that has not been requested. Now as I make this video, I have a crash helmet on. Because I anticipate a lot of stones thrown by the female members of this channel. <laughs> However, kindly do not take this personally. This is just the way we are wired as human beings. Even men, if a man has just had sex with a woman he really likes and he enjoyed the sex, he'll also be an open book at a ropokwa. He'll tell all. Yeah, he'll even say how much he hates the wife, and he'll mention all the bad habits of the wife. 
Mama Juni akilewa yeye uko jua kwa kitanda. <laughs> Translation When Mama Junior gets drunk, she normally urinates in the bed. etc etc. Yeah, it's just the way human beings are wired. And this is one of the reasons, yeah, why the manufacturer of human beings, God Almighty, intended that this thing should only happen between a man and his wife, between people who have got a long-term commitment. Anything else outside that Shauriako. So don't throw stones at me. It's not me. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha.